Hey guys, it's Dr. Chaffin from Simply Implant Institute here in actual Phoenix, Arizona. Actually, today's little video is about the differences between hybrids and bridges. I just wanted to kind of do a video to kind of clear things up and clear the air because I get a, little, a lot of comments from uh, students that I haven't taught about uh, bridges. Why well, do bridges? And I'm like, oh, okay, tell me about it. And they're talking about the hybrid. So there's a confusion between what a bridge is versus what a hybrid is. What is the difference and why? So I actually wanted to put together a little slideshow today, just really simplistically to kind of go over the differences and so you guys can kind of separate the terms in your head. All right, so the picture behind me, this is a picture of a bridge. You notice that you have the scalping borders of the tissue. Awesome, badass, dude, bridges are sweet. And a lot of people, this is the lost art of dentistry. People are like, dude, well, how do I do one? I, well, come to the institute, we're gonna get you trained. But I'm gonna show you, this is what a bridge is. Couple key components is you notice that these implants are in tooth positions. Doing a bridge, you have to be precise. You have to design it. You have to know how to place the implants. You need to know the top of the angles of the implants. So these are all precision placement. You've, you can freehand it, but you've got to know what you're doing. Not all the parts, so you can have an amazing outcome. But this is a picture of a bridge. Screw retain, actually, boom. And look at the contours. You don't see a lot of flattening, a lot of surgery. It's actually for cases like this, it's a wonderful uh, prosthodontic procedure to actually do. Now, the thing is this, here's your all in four, all in X. What do you see? You see a flat plane ridge. You see your multi-unit abutments. Those of you don't know what that is, come to the Institute. We're gonna get you trained on what that is, when to use them and why, all right? This is a prosthodontic procedure that obviously pretty thick on a flat plane. Do you see the contours of the m, &M? No, you don't. You lose all that stuff. This prosthodontic procedure is called the hybrid denture category, and it's meant for people that have shitty bone, lots of bone loss, tons of space. If you come to the Institute, we're gonna give you all the qualification of how much space, when you remove bone, when you don't, and why. How to be very conservative in your treatments for your patients. All right, but this is a big fad right now. A lot of offices are like, boom, you gotta do a, you gotta do a hybrid, you gotta do an all in four, you gotta do that. And that's what, I'm, I don't have a problem with this prosthetic for the patients that need it, but I do have a problem with patients that are forced into this product when they don't need that kind of treatment or they're not a candidate. And we can talk about that a little further in a discussion today, but those are the two differences between a bridge and a hybrid. This hybrid is usually made into different forms. You have a bar with basically denture teeth and stuff like that stacked to it. I call it the glorified denture. It's a very, very expensive hater bar with a denture fuse. That's all it is. It's a glorified denture that's screwed on the implants. You have other ones like zirconia. You know, that's a big popularity one. A lot of labs don't want to do that one because a lot of doctors don't know how to, what they call interclusal space. So they start getting a lot of fractures with their zirconia framework. All right, but basically what I want you guys to think about it, it's flat with flat, it's a thick prosthetic, bridges are thinner, and we're gonna go through a couple examples. All right, here's actually a picture, this is not my case, let me just remind you, this is not my freaking case. Uh, this is a case, but look, this is a bunch of multi-units on the top. What do you see? The bone, real knife edged. What do you think that doctor did? Shaved that all the way up. I don't have a clue how much they shave. That's not the point of this video. But the point is that's a lot of destruction and removal of bone. In order to do a bunch of implants on a fixed prosthetic, when I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six implants, man, if you space them out a little bit more, you could have done a bridge work and not even removed any bone. Something to think about. And those want more information, give me a ring. This is a hybrid prosthetic. Once again, this is not mine, but this is what you see a lot. Okay, actually not badly done. But you see how thick it is? It's a thick prosthetic on a thick ridge. Guys, here's a big, big key. This is a semi-fixed prosthetic. Semi, and you have to tell your patients that. Once a year you need to come in, take this thing out and clean it. All right, so this is not a permanent fixed and don't call this hybrid denture a bridge. Okay, don't look like an idiot because you need to just get educated. Now, if you guys can see this, this is a little bit fuzzy. What a lot of people don't like about hybrids is you can real smile and you see that big crazy line up there. All right, and so when you're doing these kind of cases, what gets a lot of doctors in trouble is that line. They don't know about the smile line. When the girl smiles, she's a really gummy smile. Be very, very careful on doing a hybrid and removing if you 
do cross that line and you're okay with whacking down a bunch of skull bone, be very careful on the cases that have a high lip line. Okay, bridges, you'll be able to have a lot more forgiveness. Okay, here's a picture of a bridge. This is called an FB2 bridge. It's got some pink porcelain in the front. From this picture, you're like, well, that's not much of a difference. Well, A, this is made out of porcelain. Okay, huge difference. It has an underlying framework of a casted metal. Okay, and because of a mild bone loss for the tissue, a lot of times these patients have tissue loss, so you have to mask it. That's fine. But look at the main, main difference here. Wow. Is that as thick as before? This is screw retained. The back of the patient's teeth on the lingual side, palatal side, oh my God, you can feel like normal teeth. So you did some masking in the front. So what? Looks pretty good, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you, you have fixed occlusion with this. You can chew, you can chomp, you can tear things up. You feel better as a patient. Patients love this procedure. And I'm gonna tell you, Bridges, learn it. I don't know if there's another school that teaches it, but we hear it as I do. This is a big, big thing in our practice. And patients love that stuff because you don't have to have any removal of bone. And we can go more into the details in some of our restorative lectures here at the Institute. But when you do it, how you do it, how do you design it, that's what we're about. We even go into hybrids, when to do it, how to do a conversion plate. What is a conversion plate? When you should do that and why? When you load things and not. So this is all restorative advanced prosthodontics that you have to learn before you just start jumping in and doing things uh, like a gunslinger. <clears throat> Here's a patient from a three weeks ago course. What is this? That's a temporary. So guys, here's a couple key points. How do you temporize these patients? In a hybrid, you're doing a hybrid conversion. Whether you print it out of PMA or whatever, and did the printed guide and you do that, the old traditional is you take immediate denture and you convert it to load. You can actually do that when you're using the Nobel BioTerra technique, all right? But how do you load a bridge patient? Well, look at this. This is temporary, it's made by hand. Look at the gum contours. This is two weeks out was a shot out of surgery. Do you see any pain? This patient was actually recommended by, uh, was recommended by a big, large, uh, full mouth firm that only does hybrids, a hybrid. Now guys, my main, main, main point of this conversation is this. Think about yourself as your patient. If you broke all your teeth right now, doctors looking at this video, and you needed a alternative option, what would you rather do? Would you rather come to me and have a beautiful bridge that comes right out of your gums, no bone removal? Yes, we have to pull your teeth. Yes, that sucks. But I can put you back together looking like a million freaking dollars. Or would you rather have the previous picture? Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. John. We're gonna have to remove the shit out of your bone. Boom. You're gonna have that line way up top. You're gonna have a plastic denture, basically, that I'm just shirt cutting for you. And we're gonna screw that up? Yeah, I think I, everybody that's watching this video knows the answer to that question. So my question is, why the hell are you doing it? Why are you, don't get, why aren't you getting trained on all the options, okay? So you can do conservative, long-term results. Get trained on an inclusive space. Get trained on opening bites, repositioning, designing. These are all key restorative principles you have got to have when you're getting into this kind of treatments. Okay, so that is the tip video for today as far as hybrids versus bridges. And let me show you a case right now behind me. This is a case right now that is choosing to do a bridge top and a bridge bottom. I'm pretty happy about it. We're gonna have some pink porcelain down below, put a pink porcelain up top just like the previous picture to mask it for this young lady. She's about 70, I think she's about 78 years old. Her son brought this patient in. I had a consult with him three weeks ago. Wanted to warm him up, wanted choices and alternatives. This patient went shopping, which is totally fine. I had another consult today because they were called and concerned. This patient went to another practice. The doctor there recommended I saw the treatment plan. I'm not gonna show you that or even embarrass anybody, but the treatment plan was zygomatic implants and a hybrid. He had a couple different options of the type of hybrids are, but I got a question, guys. You see all this bone up here? You see the bone here? See all the bone here? Hybrids are meant for crappy patients, really. A lot of bone loss. But what are zygomatics for? It's when that fails, you have another option for especially the posterior areas. 
And anybody that knows what zygomatics are, if you don't look that up, you're gonna see that that's a way more aggressive treatment plan, and that's usually done by oral fish and maxillary surgeons. And if you need that, I know a few good ones, because I don't teach that, and I don't want my patients to have it unless they are candidate, and then I will refer that case out, okay? But my question here is, why does this patient need a zygo? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Because the guy does hybrids, right? Now think about it. He's gotta remove all this bone up here. When you remove this, all this bone up here, you're pretty much close to the sinus. Removing, you're close to the sinus. So that's where he wanted to put the zygos, okay? And do some anterior implants. That's crazy. When you can actually take the teeth out, Place six to eight implants anywhere you want on this ridge. This is beautiful, thick, beautiful contours. We, yes, we have some gum, gum loss, but we're gonna be able to do some conservative treatments on this older lady. And no bone reduction, zero on her, and it's an easier surgery. And she'll have loaded temporaries that day that look absolutely, absolutely stellar. And it's really, really fixed. So guys, my main concern of why I teach this stuff, why I'm doing this lecture is I see this all day long. This patient's son was smart enough and goes, they showed him a video of zygomatic placements and it just scared the living hell out of him. And he remembered all the things I said to him three weeks ago. And he's like, well, why? What? And so I talked to him today. What did he do? He signed up. We're doing two bridges for his, his mom, doing about six, six to eight implants upstairs, six to eight implants low. She's in a beautiful, long-term, more conservative treatment plan. And actually, guys, think about this. What's an actual better product? Is a bridge better than a hybrid? Would you rather have denture teeth on a bar or would you rather have bridges that are porcelain coming out your gum lines, keeping the margins that God gave you, your M&M line for an amazing aesthetic result? Anyway, that's my tip for the day. That's my little case. That's my case review, little lecture here. I wanted you guys to just stimulate some thinking. Remember, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to teach. I'm here to elevate the level of dentistry and have fun with your patients, long-term results that you guys can all be proud of. If you want more information, give a call to the Institute. Get in, signed up for Core 1. We're all about the training. We're all not right or wrong. We won't condemn anybody. But open your eyes and have fun in dentistry. Take care.